Hey everyone, I'm here today taking a look at the Jurassic World Camouflage and Battle Indominus Rex from Mattel. Here it is in the packaging, it's the part of the Dino Trackers line, you see Camouflage and Battle Indominus Rex. If we take him out, you can see there's a kind of forest design in the background with some fir trees and bracken and that. And it looks very much like where I am now actually. Then on the back of the packaging it shows the action feature and the light up effect. So they really could have taken that photo on the packaging out here. I'll go over the articulation quickly. Legs go forward and backwards and slightly out to the side as well. The ankle swivels. And the arms have got really nice articulation. They go out to the side as well as in quite a bit. and they go all the way round. Then there's elbow articulation that goes up and down and round to the side like that. And then also the mouth and that moves, but it's all connected to the action feature. So there's a button on the tail there that makes the mouth open and it makes a sound. And if you swivel the tail, you can make the head swivel from side to side. So even though the mouth and the tail move there, you can't pose them with that. Though there is a bit at the tip of the tail that swivels around, but it breaks up the sculpt. But I think that's mainly just so that the end of the tail can be rubbery and not too spiky. They seem to be uh, making all the pointy edges soft now. I don't know if that's a safety feature, I guess. They didn't do that on the earlier releases, but I've noticed on these newer ones, any pointy bits like teeth and horns now are made of rubbery plastic. As well as the sound effects, this also lights up, kind of like the original Indominus did, but this is green instead of red, so I've got a shady spot here so it'll show up more. It's not shown up so well on camera, unfortunately. But as well as the neck going green, there's green goes all the way down the torso there as well. Seems like it's only showing up on the neck on camera. But it makes more sense that it glows green on this one rather than red on the original, because in the film the Indominus does change colour to be green and uh, kind of camouflaged in with the trees, whereas I always thought on the original one it turning red was a bit strange. So I do like that this has that green camouflage pattern. Really nice teeth on this. They're a lot thinner and sharper looking than on the original, but they're made of a soft rubbery plastic, whereas on the original they were hard. And those quills on the back of the neck they're a soft rubbery plastic as well. It's really nice sculpt. And then you've got the app code on the thigh there, opens up. Now here's the original Indominus Rex we got at to conquer and devour or whatever it was called back in 2019. And here's the new one next to it. And you can see just how much smaller this new one is. I noticed the head was definitely smaller in the feet, but it wasn't until I actually got the old one out next to it, I realised the whole thing is a lot smaller. And yet it still costs the same amount of money, if not a bit more. I had to pay like £50, just over £50 for this new Indominus Rex, which is the same as what I paid for that older one, which is a lot bigger.
I think I can actually fit the head of the new one inside the mouth of the old. See, that's how much bigger the original one was compared to this new one. Now here it is next to a regular size T-Rex from the Mattel line, and they're about the same size, whereas really I feel like the Indominus should be bigger. That first release seemed more the kind of size scale I imagine it to be. The Indominus's legs are slightly longer, and the head sticks up more. It's not in as forward a position as the T-Rex. But other than that, they're pretty much the same sort of size. See the size of them next to each other there, compared to if I bring in the original Indominus Rex. I just feel like that size works better with the T-Rex. I do kind of like having two Indominus Rexes. I guess you could either have this new smaller one as a younger version of the Indominus, or maybe just have two of them, you know, one's male, one's female. It's hard to decide which one's the best really, I like both of them. The sculpt is really nice on this new one. The proportions look good, and I like that the teeth are sharper. It's a really nice sculpt, but I do love the size of that original one being bigger. This new one has a lot more details on the sculpt than the old. It's also got a bit more paint on the back there. There's a darker grey going along the back, which isn't on the original. And you can see the extra detail in the face there compared to the original. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new Indominus Rex. Do you like it better or less than the original? Do you mind that it's smaller? Which I guess is a cost-cutting measure now. Maybe we're going to see more of these larger dinosaurs getting smaller. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you in the next video.